he wants to join us. The pussy himself, Ruben. people from all over the world. I'm Margie Pargy, and if you've never been here before, go drop something in the comments. Let me know where you're joining from. Hit that little red subscribe button if you're on YouTube, and hit add me on Facebook. I am a wealth consciousness guide for healers and coaches to really activate their creative sexual energy so that they can show up in the world in a big, most authentic way to their soul. And through our creative sexual power, we can receive more money. Today, we're going to be doing an amazing yoga sequence. It will be a little bit of kundalini, a little bit of aerial. Oh, of course, I got the modifications for the aerial yoga goddesses. If you need a hammock or a setup, get at your girl, the link below. All the breath work. We're going to be healing the womb, central place of wisdom and power as women. It's what makes us a goddess. This practice can be done alone. We can cultivate an orgasm or multiple orgasms. One in three women don't have orgasms. One in three women can have an orgasm and one in three women has multiple orgasms. So I want to make this percentage of women having multiple orgasms, like the three out of three, feel everything in your life. Create a sense of wonder, be the most you, the most sexiest self that you can be. This practice doesn't have to be done with sex. It can be totally alone. Right now, I'm really focusing on the yama of brahmacharya. Sex to be the most sacred thing everything sacred in my life, but specifically being celibate and cultivating a powerful sexual energy in my body so that I can birth it towards my creative projects. So this will help you to really get in touch with the rhythms of the universe. Choosing to feel the emotions, choosing to feel what comes up is the way through. That's where the breakthrough is. So go grab some tea, some water, a ch dirty chai latte, and your journal, and we will get started. So this is just a little taste of the full sequence that I teach in my high vibe, sexy, wealthy, course, but these are my favorite of the exercises. Let's do that. Go ahead and find a comfortable seat, rooting down through the sit bones, rolling the shoulder blades down the back, closing the eyes, looking up to the third eye. And then I want you to really focus the energy within your body. So, if you don't know what chakras are, we've got seven main centers of our body. So just imagine that our kundalini, our spine energy, it's sitting dormant at the base of our spine most of our life. So I want you to squeeze Mulabandha. So this is our Kegel, our root lock. We squeeze all the sex organs in and a lift. So we're gonna bring all the focus to our sacral chakra our pussy power area and just take a big breath in big breath out let your sit bones root deep down into the earth rooting you to Gaia Pachamama and look who wants to join us, the pussy himself, Ruben. <laughs> oh. From here, we're just going to feel into our body. Big breath in. the energy up to the belly so that yogic breath we breathe the belly out a 
and then we pull the core in, Uddiyana Bandha. We can place our index finger and our thumb together in Gyan Mudra. And then on the next inhale, so we've got Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha. Let's go ahead and lock our throat lock, creating a great lock in our body. So I want you to keep in mind this practice all throughout our time together. I think what's so missed, so go ahead and keep that long, slow, deep breathing. Let's just do five of them. Really feeling. I think what's so often we go to yoga classes and there is no talk about the breath and no talk about these feelings, but what we can cultivate is this orgasmic energy in our practice. So as you're breathing, really feel into your body, feel the pleasure that we are creating. From here, we're gonna start to just feel really sexy. So we're gonna take the right ear to the right shoulder and you can start to just kind of make some sighs, make some noises. bridge pose so lifting the hips up we're gonna do long slow deep breathing if the neck allows let your head hang back bridge pose we're gonna bring the feet into the fabric bring the toes out to the side lift the hips up or you can bring the hands down lift the hips up ease mula bandha that kegel so what we're doing here is any trauma, anything that you're still holding in your womb from past sexual relationships or gut decisions that you made that you want to release, you want to negate that negative charge, we're opening it up. So as you breathe, I really want you to squeeze Mula Bandha and imagine that there's this white light energy coming from your pussy. And it's, we're shining light on the shame and the guilt and the darkness and all that fucking bullshit that we put ourselves through. And as you inhale, you're inhaling love, forgiveness, kindness for yourself. And that exhale, you're just shining the light. You're just letting it go. Five more seconds. Slowly come down. So this one is Kundalini Lotus Pose. We're gonna peace finger the big toes, send the feet out wide, and balance right there on the, the sits bones. Hmm. From here, we're gonna do breath of fire. So it's gonna be little sniffs out through the nose, pumping the lower belly. Again, imagine this beautiful white light energy is radiating from your yoni, from your beautiful pussy, okay? 
and one minute we will begin. <laughs> Roll the shoulder blades down your back, open through your chest. You are a goddess. You are an amazing goddess. You could do the lotus pose with the feet here, or you could do it in an inversion. Grab your toes, bring your legs out wide. Bring it right into your inversion. Legs wide. Peace fingers of your toes. And as you pump the breath, you are balancing your brain, you are balancing all of the systems in the body, you are opening up to receive more pleasure. Keep going, we are halfway there. When it starts to feel hard, just take a one second break and get right back into it. Shame and guilt are the lowest vibration of frequency thoughts. So what we are doing is we're actually raising up these vibrational frequencies through our breath, through our kundalini energy, we're rising it up to the crown of our head so that we can trust and move through and feel good. All right, big breath in. And the exhale, bring the feet together. All right, so we're gonna keep a hold of the big toes. You can piece through the big toes. Roll the shoulder blades down your back. Sit up nice and tall. For a butterfly, you can bring the soles of the feet together with the knees on the outside of the fabric. Go ahead and take a seat. We're just gonna start to pump the knees, so butterfly pose. And just really feel the subtleness of your body. When you do this, we can actually really get into an orgasm in this one. This is a great one for it because we've got this like rocking move right there on our pussy. This rocking move right there on our pussy and we'll start the breath of fire with this one too. The more you relax, the more you let go, the more you just allow yourself to be free and be who you truly are. The highest vibration frequency is freedom. So allow yourself to just totally let go and just be you. That's how you're gonna magnetize any and everything that you've ever wanted into the world, into physical manifestation. So just let go, close your eyes, focus on the third eye. What you focus on expands. So focus on that vision, girlfriend. Focus on what you wanna create. Focus on your creative energy. No one can ever take that away. You are the only one that lets anyone else take your power away. So choose to be in your awesomeness, your amazingness right now. Beautiful, big breath in, hold all that energy, hold all the bandhas, suspend the breath. shield around your womb around your heart and anything that's been blocking it just imagine that we're sending the most beautiful vibrant glittery gold energy there okay so we're gonna do this for another minute and we're gonna do the cannon breath so it goes So it's actually the mouth is in a circle. Our cheeks aren't really popping out too much, but it's an inhale. Twenty more seconds. 
just taking all that energy, throwing it out of our space, pulling in the highest of vibrations, gratitude, excitement and eagerness, happiness, flow, peace, freedom. One more. Now I want you to hold this sacred energy, this space. Big breath in. Big breath out. Feel how your hands have this magnetic, energetic pulse. Oh. We're gonna take the left hand, place it on the heart, the right hand on the wheel. Big breath in. Asking your womb what it needs to heal. Taking a moment to feel into where you created any sexual trauma in your womb. Knowing that you can heal rapidly. You can move through these emotions quickly. You can feel them. You don't need to put this whole entire story and all this time into healing it, you don't have to put labels on it. What you can do is simply feel it without judgment. What comes up? Be in the situation, that past situation for a moment. Breathe into it. Feel into that moment that the trauma began. See it, feel it, and ask for the blessing. What do you need to learn from this situation? How can you share this story out into the world and shine light on the shame so that you can dissolve it? Releasing out through the breath. It's proven that we hold emotions and physical waste in our body from these emotions that we keep trapped. And the way out is through the breath. So allow any feeling, any emotion to come up for you. Just feel it, release it, forgive yourself. Choose to be the gentle witness. Nourish yourself with lots of water and healthy food through this transition, through this healing. And I just wanna say that you're amazing and strong for doing this work. Doing this work will help you to open up to receive more money and more creative ideas. So let me know what comes up for you in the comments below. What beautiful insights and inspirations and creative ideas come up and also what you're going through because other women need to hear too because we're all healing our sexual trauma and our shame around what we've done in our sexual past or not done. So share below, this is a safe space and it's so important that we come together as women. Again, if you'd like to take this to a whole another level, go ahead and join me in the High Vibe course. If you want to build a YouTube channel just like mine where you are being yourself, making six figures and traveling the world, please go to the link, the YouTube link on my blog and check it out. We are starting June 25th. I love you guys so much and namaste.